What's going on, Master Duel fans? James Polk here. Uh, first things first, about what goes on with the uh, recent uploads as of late. I just want to say apologies for everyone about me not being able to upload videos as of late. Because to be fair, uh, most of the times depends on what goes on with the season as of this past week. It's been literally nothing but quick games and realistically based on the deck I'm playing, which of course I'll give it a, a deck profile at the end of the season. Shouldn't be no surprise about it. And, and on top of that, in the reality world, uh, from where I'm at since I live in Wisconsin, USA, it's been literally nothing but them snowy hours and all I can say is, if you're going out in the super snowy weather, uh, make sure you get super dressed up and super bundled up. Or in case, if you're not going out, make sure you got like all of your blankets, your food cash, all the supplies, all that good stuff. Anyways, uh, first things first, about what goes on with the Theme Chronicle. January 16th till January 28th and when it comes to theme chronicles exclusive rules to promote cards from the solo mode scenarios that would be the likes of monarch element saber world chalice and then there are some cards that cannot be used as part of the non archetypes or belong to an archetype which is not featured as of January 2024 at the time this happens. So let's see what's up. 5,500 medals. Rika Princess. 16K medals. S-Force Night Chaser. And then 22K medals. Theme Chronicle 2024. And the exclusive Forbidden Limited list, obviously, it's now published. So, what does it all mean? It's time to check things out about the exclusive ban list. Theme Chronicle Ban List. Now, before we get things started, you guys know the drill. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And of course, smash the notification bell to keep yourselves constantly updated. So you guys know the drill, the way how the ban list works, so. Okay. Starting off fresh would be the band section of the theme chronicles. And, and obviously, if I missed out anything that's like really really strong or really really important obviously let me know in the comments below about this and based off from the start of the ban list section um okay aside from the usual floodgates to some degree which they're not allowed like you can literally see every single archetype listed about what they decide to do to outright uh, mass murder th throughout the whole entire list. So based off from what goes on with the list, not counting the floodgates, I mean, look at all this. Every single archetype listed to some degree I mean, holy smokes, that is definitely something. Ooh. 
like look at all of this for the uh the band monsters to some degree in terms of every single archetype that's been listed off from uh the theme chronicle events like dude i don't think there's any way for us to uh build something out of this like i am shocked and stunned yep took away a good chunk of the extra deck stuff like man Wow, they literally slaughtered just about almost everything in terms of really, really good extra deck cards. Like, where do you even go? Obviously, no auto win cons, of course. No milling cards. Not that way. No OTK shenanigans. Looking at those two. No burn cards, obviously. And obviously, no floodgates either. Man. I mean, as you can see, about what kinds of cards that they outright slaughtered for the event it's like i mean yes of course um some cards are unfun well there goes earth statue well obviously we all know what's up with uh the oppressive floodgates it's not fun in theme chronicles konami says we don't want floodgates Yeah, where do you even go? Like, is there a deck for any of you guys to play based off from the entire current band section? Like, I really don't see myself coming up with something absolutely super insane to some degree just like look at all of the really 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 good bandless cards and all I can say is that I don't think there's any universe where I'm sorry. Let me double check just to make sure they're not messing with me. Okay. Uh, something tells me based off from the SR section from the ban list. I think it's still doable. It's doable. And of course, for the um, secret sauce for the theme chronicle, all I can say is it's definitely doable. And of course, the theme chronicle deck profile will be showcased once, as usual, 
reaching 22k points or whenever the whole entire event is over with. Obviously, Konami says no to floodgates, no for tribute, everything over, no burn cards. Like, where do you even go? Wow. No paying life points, obviously. No stall, basically. Jeez, like too many things that are axed, neutered. Well, so much for swapping things. Yep, I totally get it about uh, banning these uh, oppressive floodgates because uh, negating stuff on the very first spells or traps that's ridiculous I mean realistically that is a lot of uh, the usual suspects of floodgates burns stall cards like literally anything in mind okay cards to be at one for the theme chronicle not counting the real deal hits. Okay, super straightforward about cards being at one. And then cards to be at two for Theme Chronicles. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. All I can say is, uh, holy smokes, what an entire theme chronicle list. Like, and based off from, again, what they did to the majority of the meta decks, oppressive rogue decks, it's like, what do you even play? Like, I really don't know which direction to go to for the theme chronicle, but I don't know, man. You guys comment down below about which decks are you going to play based off from what they decided to slaughter in the theme chronicle event. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have it already, smash the notification bell to keep yourself constantly updated and we'll catch you guys next time.